It's July 20th, 1969. Apollo 11 is hurtling toward the moon when suddenly alarms start blaring in the spacecraft. The computer is overloaded and threatening to abort the entire landing. But back on Earth, one woman knows exactly what to do. This is the story of Margaret Hamilton, the programmer who saved the moon landing. So Margaret was just 32 years old when NASA hired her to lead the software team for Apollo. But here's the thing, software engineering didn't even exist as a profession yet. Margaret literally helped invent it. She and her team had to write code for computers that were less powerful than your calculator today. Every line of code had to be perfect because there were no second chances in space. Margaret did something brilliant. She programmed the computer to recognize when it was being overloaded and automatically prioritize the most important tasks. It was revolutionary thinking for 1969. Then came the terrifying moment during the moon landing. With just minutes of fuel remaining, the lunar module's computer started getting overwhelmed with data from the rendezvous radar. Error codes 1201 and 1202 flashed on the screen. Mission control was panicking. Should they abort the landing? But Margaret's software was already working perfectly. The computer kept running the landing program while ignoring the less critical tasks. Flight director Gene Kranz made the call, we're going for landing. Neil Armstrong manually piloted the lunar module down with just 25 seconds of fuel left. But that wasn't Margaret's only save. On Apollo 8, her error detection code caught a potentially catastrophic mistake that could have stranded the astronauts in lunar orbit forever. Back then, programming was seen as less important than the rockets and spacecraft. But Margaret understood that software was just as crucial as hardware for getting to the moon. She coined the term software engineering and insisted that code should be treated with the same rigor as any other engineering discipline. Margaret's work didn't just get us to the moon, it established the foundation for every computer program that you use today. From your smartphone apps to the software running your car, it all traces back to the principles Margaret developed for Apollo. A woman who started as a math teacher ended up writing the code that landed humans on another world. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael. Follow me here at Hoodie History for more fascinating stories from the past.